it's the end of my first day. I'm physically exhausted, my feet are soaked, and I'm more than 600 miles from home. I'm grateful to be here though. I want nothing more than to lay down and to fall asleep. I've been creating these video journals for over 12 years now. And it's always been my goal to tell the honest story of each trip, my triumphs, my struggles, and everything in between. I know many people watch these videos as an escape from everyday life, but that isn't always my experience. Truth be told, I'm often envious of cars heading the other direction. In my mind, those people are heading home, a place far more certain than my destination. The road ahead is lined with physical exertion, solitude, and being away from the comforts of home. This is especially true when venturing into the wilderness on a solo backpacking adventure. It seems strange, really, getting up before 3 a.m. and driving 11 hours to a dusty trailhead, then hiking several more hours to the base of a lonely cottonwood tree. But somehow in the end, it all makes sense. I made the same drive last June during the heart of the pandemic, and after several months of lockdown, I anticipated the moment I'd walk to the canyon's edge, fill my lungs with clean, dry desert air, and admire the expansive view. As with many things in life, our expectations often fall short, and the weight of the pandemic negatively impacted my experience. Rather than fresh, clean air, my lungs were filled with anxiety, and when separated from the distractions of everyday life, the silence of the desert was no match for my inner voice of self-doubt. This year, however, things are different. The pandemic is subsiding, and life is returning to normal. I approached the canyon's edge this year with a genuine sense of gratitude, and I look forward to the adventures that would await in the days to come. This is the story of my spring of 2021 backpacking trip to the canyons of Southern Utah. I have arrived at camp and it's uh, it's been a long day uh, from getting up uh, just before 3 a.m. and hitting the road really early heading here so it's 11 hours of driving and then several hours of hiking and I have my camp set up there it does not look like much but it's just a bivy in my backpack but after everything today man I'm I'm looking forward to some sleep uh, it's it's been a long day I uh, purified three liters of water for tomorrow and uh, it's gonna make myself some lasagna and then uh, probably gonna call it a night pretty early but got the birds chirping here got a little wind through the cottonwoods nice fresh leaves on them and uh, the last little bit of light of the day but we'll see what tomorrow brings
Well, good morning, everyone. This is a very calm and quiet morning here. And uh, it's very nice sleep last night. Got a little chilly in the morning, which is great. And the moon didn't rise until just before sunrise, so it was very dark and I had a wonderful view of the stars. But now I'm going to head up this canyon. So this is a side canyon here. And there's a scene that I tried to photograph last year, but I wasn't quite happy with the composition. So I'm hoping that the light is gonna be fairly similar this time of year. And uh, see if I can get a composition on it. And I'd love to expose some film today. We'll see how it goes. So I just went ahead and exposed two sheets of Velvia 50 and uh, got my camera set up with my 450 millimeter lens and I'm aiming it at a very awkward angle up at this interesting alcove arch sort of formation there. And I photographed this last year, uh, but what happened is I didn't leave enough room on top of the arch and it looked really awkward. Um, and so this year I think I have hopefully a little better composition on it. But in order to make it look somewhat natural, I have my camera here at a really awkward angle. It's just tilted really weird. And the reason for that is to try and make sure that the desert varnish looks nice and vertical and straight uh, because I'm angling the camera up so much. Um, the perspective correction in the camera can only go so far. So uh, the, other, the other advantage of angling the camera a little bit is that it follows the edge of the canyon wall a little bit better. So I don't have the blue sky creeping into the shot. But I feel pretty good about exposing some film. It is such a nice, calm morning here. Birds are singing. And uh, now I think it's time for a little breakfast. Well, the breakfast was delightful. A good old uh, breakfast skillet. And uh, got all my gear packed up, and now I'm heading further up this side canyon to a different side canyon. And uh, I ventured to it, I think last year, but I didn't end up going back into the canyon very far at all. And I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to. Um, it got pretty, uh, pretty rocky pretty fast. I'm gonna head over there give it another look and see if I can explore that one a little bit and uh, we'll see what I can find.
Well, it was cool to check out this canyon. It got really chaotic really fast. Lots of scrambling, uh, lots of boulders and all kinds of stuff like that. So from a photography standpoint, uh, probably not the greatest, but it does make a really nice shady little spot to uh, spend some time and enjoy my hike here. I think I'm going to head out to the main canyon again and head further up that because I haven't been up that all the way before either and uh, see if I can find some potential there. I find that oftentimes there's more potential in some of the wider sections of the canyon, especially if you're trying to find a cool tree or something and place it against a uh, interesting background. But this is a nice little side trip, but back to the main canyon. Well, it was now the early afternoon, and while wandering through the wider wash, I found a interesting scene. And so I went ahead and set up my camera, as you'll see behind me here. So I used my 240 millimeter lens and set up a simple vertical composition of this tree right here. So it's this really cool oak tree. It's curving out a bit in a very interesting way. And there's this branch that has broken off, but it's still attached. So it has a really interesting shape, especially when set against this really nice sandstone wall. So a pretty simple composition. And the tricky thing has been the wind. Uh, you'll see that there is a very gentle breeze is gently moving those leaves there. And I have this metered at about two and a half seconds. So I'm gonna to need to have a moment between the wind, a really calm moment to expose the film. And uh, it's starting to look pretty good. So I should probably see about getting the camera ready to shoot. Well, it sure felt great to find another subject and to expose another sheet of film. Uh, I just exposed a single sheet of film on that one. Hopefully the wind was pretty decent. But I have a total of six sheets of Velvia 50, two sheets of Provia, two sheets of Actar, and today I've used three sheets of Velvia 50. So I'll definitely have to be very mindful of that. But I'm enjoying the coolness of the Slot Canyon right now. Now I'm gonna head back to camp, make some lunch, and uh, probably get some water filtered as well. It is so beautiful here today. Well, it is early evening and I am back at camp now. And man, today was, well, it was a busy day. Uh, I have over 30,000 steps today. I exposed three sheets of film on two different subjects. And uh, when I got back to camp, man, I was, I was worn out. Um, but I made myself some dinner. I'm already feeling better now. Uh, filtered some more water for tomorrow. And the plan for tomorrow, I'm still trying to figure that one out. There is another canyon I want to visit, a canyon I've never been to before. So I'd love to check that out and see how that one looks. Um, maybe more of a scouting mission for future trips. Uh, but also there's a couple different subjects I found in this canyon I'm at right now that are pretty good in the morning. So I figure as the evening progresses and as morning rolls around, I'll figure out a plan for which of those is going to be the best but it is absolutely beautiful here this evening. Blue skies, 
A little slight breeze, cottonwoods, leaves are shaking in the breeze, and uh, birds chirping. It's, uh, it's like paradise here. But I want to thank everyone for watching, and we'll see you around next time. Well, good morning, everyone. I made myself some breakfast, packed up camp, and uh, decided to hit the trail. And the plan for today is to see if I can make it to another canyon that's about four miles downstream. And uh, I'm curious if it's gonna be doable because it's it can be difficult to navigate through these areas. Uh, not much in the way of trails, and the vegetation gets pretty thick at times. But if it ends up being a little too much work, uh, then I'll just uh, head the other direction and uh, go to some other canyons there nearby as well. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. Birds are chirping, the breeze is calm, and the skies are clear. Let's see what today brings. Well, that didn't take long. I decided to bail on my plan of heading down river to that canyon I haven't been to before. There's just a lot of bushwhacking involved. It's really uh, hard to uh, make your way through some of the really thick parts. So I think I'm going to head to my backup canyon and uh, see what I could find there. It's a little closer to my exit point as well. but. Yeah, it would have been it would have been probably way too much work. But that all being said, looking forward to going to the other canyon. I spent the remainder of my day exploring the area, but ultimately decided to return to the trailhead. Although it would have been great to visit the new canyon, carrying my 8x10 through the thick brush and over the steep river banks would have been too difficult for the countless river crossings. When I return to this area next year, I'll leave the 8x10 kit behind. This way I can cover more ground and plan accordingly for future visits. Shortly after returning from this trip, I received my second dose of the COVID vaccine, and then I was off to the Redwoods for the rest of my spring trip. Although I only exposed a few sheets of film, I did walk away with one portfolio photo, but it wasn't the second scene of the oak tree against the canyon wall. This subject had potential, but I'm not overly satisfied with the composition. The light leak at the bottom is my own fault, and the result of not being careful while removing the dark slide. I am very satisfied with the photograph of the newly forming arch. Despite the awkward angle, the photo reads very naturally, and the exposure is perfect. Velvia 50 handled this scene wonderfully. This is the photo I returned to this canyon to capture, and I'm sure glad it turned out. In both life and photography, we don't always have second chances so it's best to embrace those opportunities when they come our way. 
Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you around next time. If you enjoy this ad-free and clickbait-free content and want to help me live my dream, a volunteer contribution of just $24 a year helps keep my gas tank full and my film freezer stocked. For more information on how to support me and my work, please visit the donation section of my website at benhorn.com slash donate. I also have prints in my portfolio box set available on my website. You can find a direct link down below in the show notes. Thanks in advance for your support.